Well, here we go. I've got myself back in here. I'm not going to get in the road here where I'm painting. That's good. Alright. This is what I've got to do. I've got to work on this. Most of it is getting close to finished. But I've still got to play around with a bit of colour, a little bit of make it interesting and um, down there, down there, a couple of kookaburras down in there uh, down there, yeah yeah anyhow I've got to play around with this one, like I say I've got a work, I've got a, I've got a half a dozen to a dozen big paintings that I need to finish off then I'm just going to play around with them on YouTube while I finish them over these weeks or months like I was saying a month ago I haven't got back to because shit hit the fan with a lot of things here now, even though I've been painting but now I'm going to get back into these and work on these now I've just got to just got to do my um, uh, just not go too far with it, but at the same time try and get it going right. There's this root section here needs to be fixed up on the tree. Might need to be some defined characters on that bark of the tree there. Um, uh, where are we there? Can you see? It doesn't matter if you can't, can you? Just try and, try and define a few little things around in the painting. Um, and also try and play around a little bit of colour there, just a little bit here and there, you know, little clusters of colours. Let's have a go at it anyhow, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Um, alright, alright, okay, okay. Where's all uh, my. Okay, so I can't find any of that. And this is what happens when I put the camera on, because I'm so, so very hopeless. Anyhow, yeah. I'm just going to touch things around the place with, with a bit of colour. I don't, have, I don't have much paint here on this thing at the moment, but I'm just going to. Surprising, you know, um, just touching around different areas with a little bit of violet or even violet green and stuff can can um, change a lot of the a lot of things in the painting. Powerful how colour sifts, but I mean I love to play around. With um, with paint anyhow, you know, that's part, that's why I like painting. It's a challenge of playing around with the paint. Never used to be, but I might even have to go a little bit of dark over that because I put too much in there. But, I'm going to go over a little bit of dark right now with that. I should be putting some paint out on the, down on the, Thing, but anyhow, I'm not going to squeeze a bit out in a minute. I've got a little bit here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. So even when I'm looking at it here now, I've got this part here. Uh, needs to be worked on. Maybe with very fine little roots in here. Um, this shadow needs to be brought back into here a bit. Um, this is how I finish my paintings off. I just play around with them. play around with a half a dozen of them. Because uh, each time I go into one of these paintings, I learn a little bit more about the other painting. Understand what I'm saying? Well, that's, that's what I think, anyhow. That's what I 
That's what I'll do. Um, I this in here to could be even a little bit dark too in just there some places. Oh. places where maybe the light's hidden. Nah. I don't like that. So what I'll do is put a bit of red in there. It's warming up a bit because that coal's a bit cool. A bit cool. And when you put a cool colour in the wrong spot it looks a bit sad, believe me. Well, when you, even when you're looking at your painting, when you look at your painting, you don't like it. It's obviously full of too much coal. Too much coal in there. Um, She's got a messy paint, I've got shit everywhere. Uh, but anyhow, there's our bit of ultramarine. I might even put a bit of, uh, a little bit of cyan blue out too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sad in here. Looking a bit sad. I might have to glaze it. I've got some wet paint in there, so I might have to glaze that if it dries a bit. Bring those colours down a bit in there. Um, what happens? This gives me a chance to to go over the whole, have a look at the painting and um, see what could be done to it before I say it's finished. That's virtually what I'm doing. Um, I could finish it off here if I want. But I can't if my brain's 
saying to me that it's not right at this stage. Uh, I don't know if I'm putting that in there. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, that bit of paint, you can see that, that's pretty powerful, isn't it? Got a bit of... Bit of strength in it. G'day Jack, how you going mate? I love that. And what I've got to do is um, count on me. Mm -hmm. This thing is just a uh, hand steady. My hands are steady. If I want to put a little fine brushwork in there, and that's what I'm going to do for you for a minute. I'm going to sit down, I'll get to the bottom part. Um, the bottom part of that painting, take that off there like that, and I want to try and do the roots down the bottom. So that's where I'm going with this. I'm going to try and get the, the roots. Uh, I need. I need violet. I need these, I need the yellow ochre and I need really dry paint because what I want to do is I want the paint to fall off the brush and um, you give me some nice little fine twigs, especially in there. No, no, a little bit of oil in there maybe, a little bit of oil. Get that down there. I get little fine brush strokes right at the end of the brush. And if the brushes are not working properly, it can be a pain in the butt. That can come down there.
Well, I like that, but what I'll do is I'll come over here. Okay. And try and get. I like it, it's okay. I'm a happy man. If I'm a happy man, I'm a happy man, man. And uh, that's why I'm going to go for walks and that and get a bit of exercise because I can I can sit down here for hours painting. Not good for me. If not not good for you if you um, you're not doing a bit of exercise. Yeah. I think we need a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Can have a bit of dark in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Putting a little bit of dark shadow just around the edges of there just to give it a bit of strength um, and when I'm playing around here for hours I'm just thinking oh, I've got a long way to go on this boat to get this one finished too That's okay. That in there might need some tweaks. Let's have a look. Might need a little bit of something in there. Bit of a little bit of this stuff. Liquid original. Find it around in there. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Oh, 
put some lines in here. Bit of movement there, a little bit of uh, a little bit of something there for the eye to be caught looking at. I hold you down there a little bit. Now Cooks have got to be worked on. There's a bit of clean paint, a bit of clean paint for that. gives me a, a good time uh, 30 minutes is a you know a good time for me to have a do a bit of paint and then have a bit of a look at what's going on with my painting uh, because you know if you, you well I don't think I could do hours on my painting uh, oh if I did oh uh, I'd bugger it up, I'm sure of it, you know. Um, could be a lot more rude in here, but where do you stop? You know, when I look at all this stuff, I just think there's uh, maybe just more roots around in there, some uh, real thin root up the top of here. Um, do the kookaburras and uh, when we look at these lights up there I reckon um, we need to put some tint just a few little tints here and there just to bring that alive a bit. I don't really know to... What about some cad? Cad yellow. Maybe. No, just a little bit of light in here and there. I'm just putting touches of paint here and there. I'm not going too far with it. 
because what will happen it will make Peter very oh, no I'm not going to ruin those bones I'll just play around with them do a little bit of lights and darks here and there um, now I am so far orthodox painting because I've taught myself uh, I've got a bit of everyone's style in me um, you know I've got a bit of mine, a bit of this and a bit of that yeah I think the camera might have even turned it off by now. Coming down onto that there. But anyhow, I'm, I haven't talked very much in this one because I, I've bloody got to be careful where I'm going with my paints because, to be quite honest, I don't know where I'm going. You know, to be, to be quite honest, I don't even know where I'm going with these paints. I've just got to play around with my paint and build up my painting without going too far and wrecking it. And you know, this is a nice little composition. This has been painted on the spot. If I can find the film to this, where I started it, I'll put it on there and show you. Um, you know? So, uh, but this is where this is at the moment. I'm still going to be playing around with this over the next couple of days, so I'm going to put me 30 minutes in here, whatever it is. Um, you know, it's just, just I love the colour of the way the river is. And when you go down and you have a look at the river, and you have a five minute look at it, you don't see this. What you've got to do is see the seasons of all the different colours, the seasons. That's stopped. Mm -hmm. Okay, see ya. Yeah, you know, when you go down the river and you see those colours, these, this, this painting's uh, been done in a springy time. Uh, you know, but probably just before the before everything's really getting in the colour stage. But these, what, what appears to me is when, a, when, a, um, when the trunk of the gum trees get wet, they bring out all these beautiful succulent colours in the, in the trunks and branches. And that's what I try to create with this painting, you know, and um, without going too far one way or the other. You know, I've just the tree, I love the tree, but I love the way the tree was when I started the painting. I've changed a few things around to suit the painting, taken a bit out and put a bit in. Um, and that's where I'm going to leave that one tonight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on with another one and I'm going to show you that later on. Um, but all those paints, by Jesus, I know there's another paint there that's just been washed in. Uh, and the one at the back is a pretty big paint. It's about three and a half feet by six foot, four foot, five foot or whatever, five foot six. Um, but it's the same thing. It's just the way I play with my paint. You know, um, I've been too stubborn to have people show me and uh, so I'll just do my own little thing, you know, and, um, but anyhow, I love it, I'm going, see ya, bye. Mm.